The stepwise process for encapsulating cells starts with preparation and sterilization of hydrogel molds and other materials, followed by isolation of cells into individual populations in tubes for each gel set. Gelation is then performed in the presence of cells, followed by the in vitro or in vivo incubation period. Downstream analysis for cell behavior may include tests for viability, morphology, proliferation and differentiation. Hi, I'm Sudhir Kathan from the laboratory of Dr. Jason Burdick in the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Pennsylvania. Today, we will show you a procedure for cellular encapsulation in 3D hydrogels for tissue engineering. We use this procedure to study the effects of hydrogel composition and structure on the behavior of encapsulated cells. So, let's get started. To begin this procedure, prepare a 0.5% weight solution of the photoinitiator ErgaCure 2959 or I2959 in PBS. Mix and incubate for 2 to 3 days in the dark at 37 degrees Celsius. When ready, use a syringe filter to sterilize the solution and store it at room temperature. Next, use a spreadsheet program, such as Microsoft Excel, to calculate the amount of polymer and crosslinker needed. Demonstrated here is hyaluronic acid functionalized with acrylate reactive groups. Also calculate the amount of the pendant peptide containing the functional adhesive domain with amino acid cysteine, arginine, glycine, and aspartate. The cysteine is for tethering to the polymer. Now that the required amounts of polymer, crosslinker, and pendant were determined, Weigh them out and place each in an Eppendorf tube. Adjust the calculation spreadsheet accordingly for the actual mass of polymer obtained. Proceed to prepare gel molds. Use a razor blade to cut off the tips of individually wrapped sterile 1 milliliter disposable syringes. Ensure a flat cut is made for molds to be used for photopatterned gels. Finally, sterilize the syringe molds, Eppendorf tubes with their caps open, and any other necessary materials by placing them beneath a germicidal light source built into the biological safety cabinet for 30 minutes. Once sterilization is complete, proceed to prepare the cells. Following sterilization of the experimental equipment, work in the hood and add sterile TEA to the polymer used in the Michael type crosslinking and sterile PBS to the polymer used for the free radical cross-linking. Add matching buffer to the pendant moiety tubes and vortex to dissolve. The pendant moiety binds to the acrylated hyaluronic acid via a thiol from a cysteine group on the peptide. To attach the pendant moiety to the polymer, add it to the polymer solution and seal with parafilm. Briefly vortex and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius with mixing while preparing the cells. While the pendant moiety is attaching, prepare the cells to be encapsulated. Trypsinize human mesenchymal stem cells, or HMSCs, by washing them with PBS. Then incubate with trypsin for one minute at room temperature. Remove the trypsin, incubate five more minutes at 37 degrees, then add HMSC growth media to neutralize the trypsin and release the cells from the surface of the plate. Count the cells with a hemocytometer. Separate the counted cells into portions containing the appropriate number for each set of gels. For a set of three 50 microliter gels at a density of 10 million cells per milliliter, separate 1.5 million cells into an individual conical tube. Do not prepare more than four gels in an individual set due to the timing of gelation. Next, centrifuge the cells at 500 RCF for six minutes at room temperature. While the cells are spinning down, Prepare the polymerization mix. For the Michael edition crosslinking, add buffer to the crosslinker to achieve the appropriate concentration. For the light initiated free radical crosslinking, add the previously prepared I2959 solution to the polymer solution at 10% of the total gel set volume. For a final initiator concentration of 0.05% weight. Now the cells and the polymerization mix are ready for encapsulation in the hydrogel. Start by aspirating the supernatant from the centrifuged cells. 
Wait for the liquid to settle after the initial aspiration and re-aspirate to remove as much media as possible without disrupting the cell pellet. Resuspend the cell pellet with the polymer solution. To prevent air bubbles, slowly pipette the solution up and down about 10 times, which should be sufficient to distribute the cells evenly. For the Michael type addition reaction, use a wide orifice pipette tip to add the appropriate volume of crosslinker solution to the polymer cell mix. Set the pipette to the desired individual gel volume. Pipette the solution up and down to homogenize and aliqua into the syringe tip molds. Perform this step rapidly to ensure an even distribution of cells and allow 10 to 30 minutes incubation in the culture hood for crosslinking. For the light initiated free radical crosslinking, aliqua the appropriate volume into syringe tip molds. Expose the syringes to UV light for radical crosslinking. A 10 minute exposure to 365 nanometer 4 milliwatts per centimeter squared UV light is common for acrylate functionalized polymers. Perform this step rapidly to minimize cell settling before UV light exposure. Following crosslinking, plunge the gels into the wells of a tissue culture plate containing media for incubation and analysis. Crosslinking of the hydrogel can also be done sequentially. First add the functionalized dye methylcholated rhodamine to a final concentration of 20 nanomolar in the gel. The dye helps visualize the patterning since it incorporates preferentially in radically crosslinked regions of the gel. Then start with the Michael type polymerization reaction yielding a fraction of the theoretical crosslinks. For the following free radical crosslinking, one will need to use a mask designed in a program such as Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator and printed directly onto transparency masks. The mask dimensions must match the round syringe top. Use sterilized tweezers to apply a sterile mask directly to the gel surface and expose to light to crosslink the gel further. Shown here are HMSCs within HA-based hydrogels one hour following encapsulation. Because synthesized hydrogels are typically transparent, cells can be visualized for morphology using light microscopy. The same cells were visualized for viability 24 hours post-encapsulation using a fluorescent live dead staining kit. We used calcium AM to detect the live cells and ethidium homodimer for the dead cells and observed greater than 95% viability. We also used the Alamar Blue assay to determine the level of cell proliferation measured by how well the cells metabolize the assay reagent, resulting in a color change. Cell staining was performed on HMSCs seven days post-encapsulation within a degradable and adhesive HA-based hydrogel and using standard fixation and permeabilization procedures. Cellular actin is visible using fluorescein labeled phalloidin and nuclei were stained with DAPI. Immunostaining against vinculin is used for visualization of focal adhesions within the hydrogel matrix. Histological staining is performed following dehydration, paraffin embedding, and sectioning of the hydrogels using standard protocols. Radically polymerized HMSC encapsulated HA hydrogels, after one week in culture, were stained with hematoxylin, marking the nuclei, and aicin, marking the connective tissue. Alcium blue stains for glycosaminoglycans. Real-time PCR is used to quantify differentiation of encapsulated stem cells. After subtracting the background, the expression level of a gene of interest is determined by the cycle number where threshold fluorescence was reached compared with a passive reference signal, which is a constitutively active housekeeping gene. So we've just shown you how to encapsulate cells in 3D hydrogels and study the behavior of cells in gels. When using these procedures, it's important to ensure complete sterility materials, either by keeping sterile buffer solutions and reagents long term or sterilizing with a germicidal UV lamp. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.